coach has told What's us Corey Nelson done for the year. How much did that impact your special teams? Big time. Corey was, uh, I mean, he was a great special teams player for us, one of our leaders. Uh, captain qualities, so we're going to miss Corey big time. Uh, but we're uh, we're going to have Gerald Gerald Garcia Williams up active now, and Gerald is a um, a very uh, uh, good football player. He's got a bright future. We loved him in training camp, and, and he's he's here for a reason. So we're excited to see what Gerald's going to do. Who are going to be your returners this week? So on kickoff, it'll be Brendan Langley, and on punt return, it'll be Hunter Sharp and. Also, JT, he can also take some of those too, yeah. Jordan Taylor. Yeah. You got plenty of youth catching the ball. We've got a lot of youth back there, no questions. That's We've been putting in some extra time uh, pre and post practice, and those guys are, uh, they're chomping at the bit to, to have opportunities. And so I got all the confidence in the world they're going to be just fine. Are yeah. they, they good decision makers? For the most part, for the most part, man, some of them haven't been in those situations yet. Even you know, there are a lot of situations that they haven't been in. So we try to prepare them for those as best we can during practice, and then we meet on it a lot too. You know, we watch films. Say, okay, what would you do in this situation? And they're giving you the right answers. Uh, so, but you know, the, the the true test is what do they do under fire? And um, you just uh, you know, you hope that they take the coaching and that they can uh, transfer it onto the field. Yes, Hunter, Hunter had a great preseason season for us. I mean, he is a tough kid. He ran down there, stuck his face in there on kickoff, made, made plays all over the field, not only as a returner, but as a core special teams player. So, so yeah, we're, we're excited about Hunter, no question. Because the stadium's not as big, have you heard anything from the coaches about how the men may be able to get in there? Or is that not really an issue? A little bit, a little bit. And, and that is that is definitely an issue, no, no question, especially in the kicking game. Um, but that that's something that... Uh, you know, our guys will get out a little bit extra uh, earlier and try to figure that out as soon as they can. So, and it, you know, they're, they're dealing with it too. They're dealing with it too. So it's it's something that that is definitely a factor. Yeah. Because you can you can punt it out over the roof. Right? Exactly. Yeah. And then you're dealing with winds that you can't that, that you don't know anything about because you don't get an indicator from the from the flags on the goalpost. So yeah, it's it's definitely a factor. What did you do with uh, Brandon McManus, who's going through some stuff right now? Yeah, definitely, Mike. So we always say there are two type of kickers, those who have gone through a slump and those who are going to go through a slump. And that's that kind of that's the ebb and flow that you get naturally with a young kicker. And so the most important thing is how do those kickers react to that? How does he react to, to, to going through a slump? How does he come out of it? Um, and, you know, so you got to find out what's the cause. And to, to Brandon's credit, He's been nothing, nothing but a man about it. He came to us immediately after the game and said, look, fellas, to, to Chris Gold and me, he said, look, i got to get right. It's on me. He took responsibility for it. He's been a great pro about it, but he said, you guys got to help me. Okay, what are we going to do? Let's implement these drills. Let's meet extra here. Uh, and so he's been awesome about it. And I have no doubt that BMAX is going to come out of this slump. There's no question because he's a good pro and he's, and he's holding himself accountable for it. He's been great in practice. Uh, he hasn't missed a kick uh, in warm-ups either. So it's, it's, a, it's a game type situation that, he, that he's going to deal with. And again, I repeat, he's, he's been nothing but uh, professional about it. And he's going to come out of it, no question. Very important, but the, the, the thing you look at when a kicker misses a kick is, okay, what's he doing the next one? How does he bounce back from that? That's a telltale sign of the guy's character and his fortitude under pressure. And so, and Mac has been good at that traditionally. And so, um, again, he, he is going to do whatever he's got to do uh, to get back in the groove. Uh, and I have no doubt that, that he's going to be all right. If, if yeah. he hasn't missed a kick in practice or in warm-ups, you're just trying some different stuff to change his routine up. Exactly, Brandon. So what we try to do is is we we try to create pressure situations that are as close as possible that they can be to uh, to a game during practice, and, and that's not easy to do, you know, um, because I mean your 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 heartbeat's naturally going to be higher during the game because you're under pressure. But we try to do that. That's one way, and that that was to his his point, his suggestion. It's like, hey, create this for me, do this for me. He had he came in with a whole uh, laundry list of stuff that he wanted to do and and uh, to his credit so he's been great about it he's been a man about it and uh, and we're going forward do kickers have to be kind of their own coach then i know chris has a lot of experience yeah so so 
to your point there, Chris Gold, uh, my assistant, who you guys all know, I, to my, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best specialist coach in the NFL. So Brandon has a pair of expert eyes on him all the time. But yes, you have to be able to self-correct as a kicker, no question, because you, we can film him all day long, but he feels the mechanics. He knows what he's doing right and wrong. He knows if he hits it poorly, et cetera. So you definitely have to be able to self-correct as a kicker, no question. That And that that comes with maturity as well. You get to know yourself, you know, with every kick, every year that goes by. And so, uh, so Matt, Matt came in, self-diagnosed and said, okay, this is what I'd like to work on. Can we create these situations? And to his credit, so. So along those lines, when he misses a kick in a game, do you or Chris go up and talk to him and try to fix it in a game or do you let him work his own problems? You, it, every, everybody has a different approach and it also depends on the kicker. Um, some kickers need to be admonished. Some kickers need to be left alone. Some kickers, you need to come down on them hard. And so uh, Chris uh, Gold knows Brandy. He's been with him for the past uh, two and a half seasons. So he knows how to handle him during games. So it's a, you know, it's a conversation. It's a man-to-man -man conversation. Hey, what went wrong there? And Mac will tell you. And that's the great thing about Mac, man. He's, he's not going to make excuses. He's not going to blame it on anybody else. He says, look, this is what happened to me. I'll fix it. And uh, that's what we love about him. Does the range change at all? Where you um, not really. I don't think I don't think we want to we want to handicap him at all. I think we want to you know, hey, if if it's a situation where we need three points, we're going to go to him, and he knows that, and he knows that. And Vance Vance is all in on that too. Vance Vance will repeatedly say, hey, he's our guy, and, and we're not going to again, we're not going to handicap him. You know, if we need the points, we're going to we're going to rely on Mac to do that for us. You know, when Brandon was here, when he started here, we had. They had a, uh, a kicker. He, he did kick offs. Yeah. Someone else did um, field goal. Mm -hmm. Is there a po is there a point where you say, you know what, we love you, but we we got to bring somebody else in here to uh, maybe uh, we three kickers. Is there is there a point that you have to make that sort of decision? Yeah, that's that's a good question. That happens a lot. It does. It happens around the league. You see it, and uh, that'd be a, that'd be a a question for Vance, I think. No question, Vance in the personnel department. Um, as far as we're concerned. B Mac's our guy. When, when B Mac misses, does he know right away coming to the sideline what went wrong, or does he have to look at it? He's he's pretty no he's he's pretty good about about self diagnosing. He knows. Yeah, he's he he's been doing it long enough. Now he's he's in his his third year now. He's been doing it long enough that he can say, okay, yeah, I I pushed it or I yanked it or you know my my first step was too long, my shoulder was down, whatever it was. He's really good about that. Yeah. It hasn't been anything on the snap or the hold or anything. The operation's been good. Yeah, Casey and Riley have been have been darn good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you took away the third deck for this game, so maybe that you know they say. Yeah, that's right. That could be a uh, right a distraction up there. <laughs> it's true, Mike. All right. Thanks, Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.